and whoop whoop, happy Monday. So as promised, I'm hopping on to show you guys how to enter um, a recipe in my fitness pal. So I am gonna use Kevin's phone again here to show you. So I am making chili, all right? Hello, everybody. Okay, so um, somebody's messaging me right now. So I am in the process of making chili, okay? Um, I typically make soups. This is just kind of like a side story here. I make soups because they're really simple to reheat. They're simple to eat all the time, and I just find it really easy to stay on track. Um, I'm a person that can typically eat the same thing for a couple days, three, four days, and then I come kind of like, I'm done with that. But um, I like them for lunches because I can just weigh them out really quick and eat them that way for dinner too. So I like um, a creamy chicken chili. I think that recipe has been floating around a little bit. If you want to know what that recipe is, I can share it below, just comment. Um, and I'm, I'm making just like a typical bean and beef chili today. So a couple tips um, that I've kind of, I guess, come, um, come to find to be helpful as you know over the past how many years as i've been trying to make better choices with food in in my life and i'm looking for something Champion. um okay sorry i'm pulling this out of the garbage because that's really gross. okay i'm not i'm totally not going to do that okay that's gross i threw it out um first off the instant pot um, if you don't have one, they are awesome. Um, I make all of my soups in them. It really just helps to cook the vegetables really quick so that they're not crunchy. Um, they're great. I also do hard boiled eggs in there. There are so many things that you can do in the Instant Pot. Um, this is our second one and it's awesome. Secondly, I use, um, I like to do diced onions when I'm, a diced frozen onions onions when I make my soups because then I'm not spending time chopping them up and I'm not crying. I just buy the frozen bag. Um, there's also things called a recipe helper that you can buy that are frozen cut up vegetables. Like, um, I know there's like a chili one. I haven't been able to find that one recently. I think you used to find it at Walmart, but it's got onions um, and peppers. So there's a bunch of different um, types of veggies that you can purchase that way that are, are already pre-chopped, which is really helpful for kind of getting all your ingredients together to cut down prep time, okay? I also um, like to chop up my vegetables and throw them in the freezer. Like I had a bunch of celery um, that I chopped up a, like last week and I knew I was gonna be making soup this week, so I just threw it all in the freezer so that was ready to go. Also, I do, um, my, if my spinach is about to go bad, I'll just throw it right in the freezer in a, in a Ziploc bag, and then I throw it in smoothies as um, the week, uh, or as I am making my protein shakes, um, I'll throw a handful of smoothies in there. So, let's get to the my fit, fitness pal. So, super um, scary, right? Everybody's like, I don't know how to do this. It is definitely not scary at all. It does take some math to think. So you're gonna kinda need to write some things down. Um, it does take a little bit of brain power to do this. But um, what I do is um, I get all my ingredients out and I weigh them out. So before um, I did this, I weighed out, like for instance, my chili's got beef, um, diced tomatoes, chili beans, and tomato paste. That's really like the four main ingredients that have got um, got calories and carbs and protein in. Um, I do throw some onions and celery in, but I don't put enough in for, I don't think to make a difference. So I don't weigh those out, I'm sorry, um, just to kind of keep it simple. So I um, I open all the cans, okay? Um, and what I do is I open them all up, I weigh out my meat, I put all of the in ingredients, like for instance, I've got four containers of diced tomatoes that I used. Um, I weighed all that out. And then I weighed out my three cans of chili beans, okay? So I'm weighing it out to find out the ounces, okay? Ounces um, is what I wanna know. I wanna know the total ounces of this entire, oh, it's saying it's 
burning. Well, that's nice. So moving on. Um, so I want to know the total ounces of what this entire soup is going to weigh um, because then I can make it super simple when I um, weigh out portions for myself to eat. Okay. So first and foremost is to weigh out everything. That is step number one. You want to know total ounces. So for instance, like I um, have three and a half pounds of beef. Um, I, it was 56 ounces raw and I want to make sure that I track it cooked. So I just did the math myself. And if you follow the macro, um, the all about macro document, um, you multiply that by three quarters or 0.75 and that will give you the ounces cooked because when we cook things, we pull water out and it, and it weighs less. It's never beeped like that before. I'll have to check it out in a second. So from that, I've, um, I find that I've got 42 ounces of cooked beef, okay? So then I, I have 44 ounces of chili beans, 58 ounces of tomato paste, and 12 ounces, or sorry, 58 ounces of tomatoes, and 11 ounces or 12 ounces of tomato paste. So 156 ounces is my total, okay? And I'm gonna... I'll post like directions in the top of this video for you guys to see, but I'm going to show you on my fitness pal where you're going to go. So I know all the weight of things it's cooking right now. Okay. I don't really need to, um, worry about what's happening other than it's yelling at me saying that it's burning, but I'll get back to back to that. So now I'm going to put it in a recipe in my fitness pal. So you're going to go to more, I gotta stand like this. So you're gonna go to more. I hope you guys can see more. Okay, and you're gonna scroll down to meals, recipes, and foods. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this is backwards, but I hope you can follow. I'm gonna do create a recipe. I'm gonna say add ingredients manually. And then I'm gonna put in chili. And I like to put the date. I don't know why, but just so that I know when I put it in. 9, 20... 21. How many people is this going to serve? Now, this is where that total servings is important. I put the serving as the total ounces. So it's going to be 156 ounces is the total amount of servings because that means that one ounce is one serving. Okay. So I'm going to go tab here and then I'm going to hit add ingredient. And down on the bottom, it'll say scan. And this is really important here. So I'm gonna go take my little tomato, scan this up. Now I used four of these tomatoes. Now this is where you really kind of need to pay attention because it'll, it'll say serving, serving size half a cup. Um, I'm gonna change this to a whole container. Okay, so that's gonna be the entire can of um, tomatoes. Okay, I put this whole can in. I'm going to do four. So I need to change the um, amount, the number of servings to four. Okay, oop, they're not 14. Four. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing quickly with the chili beans. So I'm going to scan the chili beans in. Oh my gosh, I like the scanning part. Okay, scanning in. Again, I'm going to do the entire container and I use three chili beans. And then what else did I did? I did tomato paste. Uh, this one has like little ingredients, you guys. You guys are just hanging with me. Thanks. Thanks for hanging with me. Um, so we got... So I am going to do a full container because I put that whole container in of tomato paste. And then my, my lean beef, okay? We got our beef from a cow. I think it's like 93.7. That's what I typically put it as. And we're gonna use, what did I say? 42 ounces of beef. So, okay. So once this is all complete, I'm gonna hit, I got all my in ingredients in. I'm gonna hit this top thing. And it's gonna show me now by serving, so 156 ounces so by each ounce that you have in your bowl you're going to have approximately 23 calories 
0.6 grams of fat, 2.3 grams of carbs, and 2.3 grams of protein. So I'm gonna go to save and log it, and we're just gonna see here. So when I am, when I am gonna be eating this, I'll hit, well, so I'm gonna hit serving. So when I weigh my bowl, I typically do like 15 ounces, and that is 352 calories, 34 grams of carbs, 9.1 grams of fat, and 31.6 grams of protein and that is going to be my chili, okay? So you also, you also can um, share recipes between people, so that's super nice too. Um, I, I know that you can do that, I just don't know how right off the bat because I did, haven't looked at it recently, but um, super simple. Other ways to weigh things out and to do the recipe is you could wait till it's all cooked um, and weigh out that entire, um, entire pot so i have done that before i just find like my food scale only goes up to a certain amount and then i'm like messing with all this soup and weighing out and subtracting and adding so i kind of like to do it as i go it's probably going to be a little off because um as things cook you know they kind of release water but it's staying in an instant pot and i think all the water is staying together i would think um, but the one that I did change was the cooked beef. I made sure to change that to cooked beef um, because meat changes when you cook it. So I hope that that was helpful and not super confusing. It's super simple. Um, you know, you just have to know how many servings. So soup is like my easiest thing, um, but you can do it with like lasagna, casseroles, um, anything that all, is all mixed together and things that you make um, really at the like really if you make like you could do like protein balls you just have to know how many servings that it's going to make um and then you are going to be set set to go and sometimes we don't know that until we make them all like say you make a batch of protein balls and it makes 12 well then you're going to have to put it in as 12 servings so i hope that, that was helpful robin i'm gonna go check out my burned instant pot soup that's one problem that if there's not a lot of room sometimes burns, but whatever. Kevin and I are the only ones that will eat it. So I think that that is it. You guys reach out to me with questions. You have to just be really careful. Like, you know, it'll say like four ounces is it, is your serving. Well, you're, you know, you, you kind of have to play the math game and read through exactly how you're putting stuff in um, so that it's accurate um but you'll you'll probably know if it's not you're gonna be like okay so what i do do is i'll do chili and then i'll do a little bit of cheese on top i'll just tear out my bowl so i'll put my bowl on tear the scale throw throw the chili on tear and then i'll put the cheese on top and sometimes a little bit of greek yogurt or light sour cream so that's how i run things i hope that that was helpful guys um, I'll put some instructions at the top here. Tag your macro tracking friends. All right. Have an awesome day, everybody.